What is going on everyone doing a draft here on MTG Arena? We're doing a Lord of the Rings draft here. If you like these videos, please hit that like and subscribe. All right, so this is my first draft. I have not done any previous drafts, so I'm going to go quick here. Um, Balrog, Durin's Blade, costs one less to cast for each permanent sacrifice this turn. It has haste, can't be blocked except by legendary creatures. When it dies, should I target artifact creature power controls? So pretty good. Um, kind of forces us into red, black, obviously. Um, Golem here. Um, pretty good card here. Um, okay, this deals to damage each opponent. I think we'll just click on that for now. I think we'll go black, red. Um, when this or another tree folk enters battlefield, up to two target creatures you control gain. Okay, wow, so that's pretty good as well. Um, can't read all the cards here. I guess we'll take the rare here, go into probably red, black, at least to start. Both of the gray host, you and target opponent, each create a food token, each opponent loses three life, create a treasure, and then you get three 1-1 one, one white spirit tokens. So that's not bad. Um, not a whole lot of black and red in here. Um... Yeah, I don't know a lot of these cards. Let's kill something that's blocked. That blocked or was blocked by a legendary creature. Some white. I think we'll just take the Oath of the Grey Host here. Uh, sagas are always pretty good in draft. Um, a lot of white here. Kingfish is not bad. When it dies, draw a card. Two and flyer. Um, but, yeah, we'll take that. It, there's a lot of, uh, there's land cyclers for one, which seem pretty strong. Also 6-5 for six. Can't be blocked except by three or more creatures. That's not bad. Um, whenever this or another creature control with power four or greater dies, a mass works two, so that's not bad. Uh, defender, add one man of any color. That's not great. Um, so yeah, I guess it's between one and these two. I guess we'll take the war beast here. Soldier's Fateful Strike. Destroy target creature. If its controller has four more cards in hand, they exile cards from their hand to equal the difference. So, not bad. I don't know how much its second ability will really happen too often. Uh, but I think we'll take that. It's an okay removal. Um, target creature and opponent controls deals damage equal to its power to another target creature that player controls. Okay, so that's kind of an odd removal spell, but it is removal. We'll take this for now. Stay on with black, red here. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, it deals one damage to each opponent. By his club, his initial cost to cast a spell, sacrifice an artifact or a creature, deals four damage to any target. When the Berserker enters the battlefield, the ring tempts you. Okay. It's between one of these creatures. We're gonna need creatures here. I guess we'll just take this one. Seems like the strongest. Definitely want two drops. Um, this is also improvised club is not bad for the Balrog, but I don't know how much actually sacrifice effects there are. I guess this is one. I guess this is one. Lash of Balrog is there. This creates couple of tokens. Frodo Baggins here is pretty good. I don't know if we want to jump into another color here. I think we're just going to stay on black and red. Or damage to any target, so I guess this can hit the opponent's face. So I think I kind of like this. It's an instant as well. I think I like this a little bit better than the Lash, but... Um, yeah, not a lot of great stuff here. I guess draw a card, lose one life, and amass orcs. One is okay. Um, what's this? Target creature gets plus three, plus two until end of turn. If it's legendary, it also gains trample. So that's not a bad pump spell. What's this? Whenever land enters the battlefield and you control, target creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Then that creature, if it has power four or greater, gains first strike until end of turn. That's not bad. But goblin here is not bad as well. Becomes blocked as one damage to each creature blocking it. So that's a pretty good card. It's almost like a three, two. Torment of Golem's not bad, but I think the creature, I think we just want to Try and go red-black aggro here, and um, make sure we hit our curve. 
create a treasure amass works two is not bad i guess treasure will be nice with the balrog it's gonna basically give us two mana off it because we'll get mana from the treasure plus one less to cast it from sacking the treasure yeah sure we'll take that i guess over the other creature Um, just a 4-3 when it enters the battlefield ring tempts you. I guess that's okay. That's special. Um, so yeah, like I said, this is the first draft. Not entirely sure what cards are good and what to, um, kind of pick here. But, um, I guess red-black sacrifice is always kind of an archetype in no matter what, um, Kind of format or set you're playing. Destroy target artifact or land. I'm gonna actually take the Lemnus here. Uh, I guess it has a bit of synergy with the ball rug because we can sacrifice it. It does. Um, enters the battlefield. Enters the battlefield. Scry one and then draw a card. So it's not totally useless, and we can sack it. I guess we gotta pay two to sack it, so it doesn't really give us much of a cost reduction. It actually costs more. We have to pay two mana, but anyways, here we go. Um, file of Galadriel. If you draw a card while you have no cards in hand, draw two instead. If you gain life while you have five or less life, uh, you gain twice that much life, and it taps for one mana. So this is not bad. I guess we're gonna look to empty our hand quite a bit. Um, this is not bad as well. Whenever goblin or orc control deals combat damage to player, you may sacrifice it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure how good this vial actually is. I guess we want to empty our hand quite a bit. We'll take this. This orc might be pretty good too, but hopefully we'll get other cards here. Or two drops and stuff like that. Alright, not a whole lot of red and black in here um yeah this is not bad pumpable when it dies deals damage equal to its powered target creature opponent control so we'll go ahead and take that cast into the fire deals one damage to each of to each of up to two target creatures that's okay but yeah we'll take the creature here um having two drops is always nice i think we'll actually put that on the side here doors of durin whenever you attack scry two then you may reveal the top card of your library. If it's a creature card, put it on the battlefield, tapped and attacking. Until your next turn, it gains trample if you control a dwarf and hexproof if you control an elf. Well, could possibly splash this. We've got a couple things maybe to give us treasure tokens. So we'll take this for now. I think this is a pretty good card. And it gives you an you got a lot of creatures it can give you attacker every turn another creature mines of moria and battles if enters the battlefield tapped unless you control a legendary creature exile three cards from your graveyard create two treasures that's actually pretty good it helps us um get treasures which is definitely useful for both doors of durin if we splash that and the balrog so we might take that Otherwise, got some common creatures here. I think we'll just take the mines here. I think all those creatures are passable, and we can get other ones instead. Okay, what's this? Whenever this attacks, you control a creature with greatest power among creatures on the battlefield. Create a 1-1 one, one soldier. That's not bad. Create two 1-1 one, one soldiers. I guess that's two 1-1 one, one hastes, basically. Tokens are not bad as well. Only to cast legendary spells. Well, that'll help us with our Doors of Durin. So I think we take this. We'll splash the Doors of Durin here. I think between the mines, this, Swarming of Moria, we're going to have enough stuff to be able to splash. So um, not much here. We'll go ahead and... Well, Mirror of Galadriel is pretty good, but we'll take that. Like I said, we're just going red-black aggro here. Could be terrible, but... Uh, additional cost to cast a spell, discard a card, draw two cards, and create a 1-1. One, one. 
Yeah, that's not great. This is also not great. Target creature gains your choice of lifelink or indestructible. The mass orcs won. It's okay. And we'll just go with the Lancer here. Pretty weak, but whatever. Uh, the blade here is okay. It's one and one to pass and equip, which is quite nice. Got a decent amount of two drops. We could take the Torment of Golem here. We'll just take the blade. And yeah, we got a Torment here, and we get another Great Hall, which is not bad. Um, I think we'll go ahead and take the Torment. And we'll take cast into the fire. It's not a great removal, but. Yeah, there's an ambush card. That's okay. Two drop here or a four drop. I think I'd rather have another four drop. So probably want some three drops here. All right, what do we open up here? Another equipment. Sting the Glinting Dagger. Equip creature gets plus one plus one has haste at the beginning of each combat. Untap equip creature. Equip creature has first strike as long as it's blocking or blocked by a goblin or orc. Um, this does not actually seem that good. I feel like the bullet barrel blade is actually better. I guess if you have something that has a tap ability, it's not bad, but. Gimli here is not bad, but I think the bat here is actually just the pick. It gives us an orc, it's a flyer. Um, maybe that was a really bad pick, but we also need um, three drops, so I don't mind taking that. And that equipment didn't seem that good. I could be way off, but. Um, Breaking of the Fellowship. This is okay. It's kind of like a removal. Might actually take that. Uh, the Goblin here is pretty good as well, but got one, two, three, and yeah, we need more creatures. I like having two drop creatures. I'll probably see this later on too. Um, yeah, we'll just take the two drop here. We've got a Gimli here. Whenever a creature an opponent controlled dies, deals one damage to that, cre that creature's controller. It's not bad. Sacrifice another creature, draw a card, then create a food token. That's okay, not great. Gimli's axe. Not bad, a little bit slow. Three and two is a little bit slow. And we'll just take Gimli here. Um, okay, what do we have here? When this dies, the mass orcs one. That's all right, two, one. When this enters the battlefield, scry one, return. Activate only if you control a legendary creature. That's not bad. And we've got a 5 4 haster there. I think we just kind of want the two drop here. Maybe we want the five drop here. Yeah, we'll take the five drop. Our creature gets plus one plus one, gains first strike until end of turn. If it's a goblin or orc, it also gains haste. Yeah, that's not great. Each player sacrifices a creature. If you sacrifice creatures, the way you return another permanent card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Fortunately, it's not legendary, so we can't really splash that. Um, there are some bats here. Not bad. We don't have a ton of tokens. Maybe a Crete or a Sacrifice token. I guess, I guess we got some Orc stuff amassing things, so that's okay. Um, foray of Orcs is not bad. It's a decent removal. There's not an improvised club here. I think we'll take the Orcs. Um, Might the Deathless, not a bad removal. I do like the Vanguard here, but this is a pretty solid removal, so we'll take that. 
3 damage target creature and that was indestructible until end of turn and you can exile it. It exiles if it's going to die. Um, yeah, another goblin here which is quite nice or I guess the spear master is good. We need 3 drops. It's good enough. Uh, what is this? Horses you control have haste. Attacks you may put a Creature card with lesser power from your hand onto the battlefield tapped and tangled. It's not bad. Um, I'm gonna play. I'm not even sure if we'll splash the doors of Durn. It's okay, but okay, breaking the fellowship came back around, so we got enough um, removal now. I think. I think the axe. We already got a couple of those. I don't think we need another one. All right, so I think we've got an okay deck here. I don't know. It's going to be a... Uh, a little bit awkward here. We've got to cut a bunch of cards, but... we got only 14 creatures, so we got to cut out a lot of non-creature spells here. I guess some of our spells do amass orcs, though, and things like that, so... Okay, what do we have here? Okay, we'll cut that out. Okay, cut that out. Out the axe here. Cut out the one one here. Cut out the Gimli's Fury, maybe. I don't know. I'll cut out the one one. I just play one forest. I think with both the lands, the forest, and the swarming and the vial here, that's five sources to get green here. So I think that's good enough. So we just got to cut out one more card here. Whoops. The vial back in, and I guess probably cut out a four drop here. We got a lot of cards here. Get one of these. All right, let's see how the deck looks here. All right, we are, we are on the draw. Not bad, though. We've got Mordor Muster to draw a card. We've got the Vile here, so we get one more land here. We're good. We also got the Fire Leaper. So, pretty good hand. Could use some removal, but hopefully we'll draw a couple pieces here. Wizard's Rockets. Sacrifice it at X mana and in combination of the colors. Put it in graveyard from the battlefield, draw a card. Okay. It's just kind of mana filtering. And draws a card when it goes to the graveyard. Okay, two white. Uh, go ahead and do this. And there we go. Again. Yeah, 
Your ring bearer is legendary and can't be blocked by creatures with greater power. Okay, I think we just get the vial down here. We need uh mana here. All right, so this is their ring bearer. Okay, so this turns into legendary, so you drew a card off of that. Um, Just get the bats down. Probably gonna be taking three here, but that's fine. Guess we could have got this down. We would have been taking three either way, but at least we got the bats down. If we draw a card next turn. And get the war beast down, which will be a little bit good for us to block. I guess we could have just played the could have played Rohim there as well. What is this? 6-4. Whenever it attacks another target creature you control gets plus 2 plus oh and gains trample until end of turn. Alright, so we need some removal. I guess we've got a club here. that they get damage here take another damage off of that so they took two damage off off the bat there which is not bad and now we can We've got blockers for both. I don't mind trading off the flyer here for the ring bear. I guess when this dies, this will go up again. But it's a very interesting mechanic. The ring tempts you. I feel like um, all right. We'll block off there. Five seven. When it enters the battlefield, create a food token. Five seven reach. Okay, that's a bit annoying. Well, I guess we could play this. Make our bats the ring bear and get in for damage. Won't be able to block. Then we can play our Fire Leaper as well. Can't be blocked by creatures with greater power, so... Get in for damage here. Play our Fire Leaper down. Now if he attacks him with the 5 star, we can block, kill his Ring Bearer here. What does he have here? He's got Food Token, and this just adds one mana of any color, so... Got a lot of mana here. He's got 7 mana. He is playing green, so he's got some, probably some fat creatures here, but. I think we want to get this down as well.
That does suck because now he can filter with this, but it's okay. Hmm. We just get the war beast down. Okay, that's a bit annoying, but not the worst. Hmm. Yeah, we can't block it there, so that sucks. I guess we just take it. Put on a seven here. Not sure what cards there are here. Let's go ahead and try and kill this now. Like that. Oh, he had something there. That kind of sucks. I think we got a double block here. Cards in hand. Alright, well, his ring bear is dead, so until he gets something else that can change it, I don't mind. 
training off there. Search library basic land, so I'm not sure if this guy's just got he's got red now, so Go ahead and get this down. Make this our ring bearer. Okay, he's gaining some life here, that's fine. kind of nice as well. This is going to keep us alive. This food token. I'm going to put us to 11. Wow. Alright, well we draw two cards here. We got a bunch of creatures here. from that. Alright, so we're drawing two cards off the vial now, so... We should be in pretty good shape here. So that sucks. What do I want to do here? Um, okay, so this will... Just gonna make this our ring bearer. So we can attack in. Draw then discard.
Alright, hopefully we can kill this. Let's smite the deathless. As long as Frodo is your ring bear, it must be blocked if able. Hmm. This is annoying, but Not sure what to try and kill here. That's Frodo. We'd have to block it. Uh, the orc sucks. We have to play it out. Otherwise we won't draw another card. real long here. I think that the ring tempts you. Uh, makes the games go quite long. Alright. Not even sure if we can win here. All right, bottom, bottom. Oh, I guess that's game. So we could have just blocked off there, but we would have drawn two lands, so we would have been screwed anyways. We would have drawn two cards from the vial, but um wouldn't have really mattered, so I think we were screwed there no matter what, so a little bit unfortunate. Fun game though. We'll say that was very fun. I do like the ring temperature mechanic. Definitely is very tricky to kind of see I guess all the possibilities and stuff with it. Although it is kind of cool mechanic, I think it is, um, makes draft very interesting here, so we'll go ahead and keep this hand here, not bad. Two drop, a little bit of removal. Curving out, hitting our three drop here, so. Actually, put it on him.
Can't be blocked by creatures with greater power, so we can't get in here. Kind of sucks. And we miss our land drop there, so would have been nice to get out the bat or the actually row him. It would have been real nice there. Surprised if he, if he goes for the Balrog. I guess that's most threatening, but I also have no land. I think we just get down the bats and pass turn. So if you haven't noticed already, I think these games and matches are going to take longer than normal because just because there's so many mechanics. Also. It's like early on in the set release, so people are probably still reading the cards and learning what everything does as I am doing that myself. But uh, yeah, I think with just the ring temps you mechanic and everything else going on, it there are a lot of things to try and keep track of. So um, definitely is a little bit more complicated, but it is nice. It gives you this reminder here and uh, this reminder text here as well. We'll take three there, that's fine. Untap another permanent, untap two other legendary creatures. So if we attack in, we could untap this, block it. I guess I should have blocked off the token last turn. Go ahead and put it on him. We could have put it on the bat, but kind of like having this open. I guess either way, they're three, three toughness that doesn't really make a huge difference. And hopefully, kill this. Sack the leaper, kill him and the orcs here, and then get in for damage.
Okay, so we got a good turn next turn. We can... Kill Gothmog. I do want to kill this thing, but... I think getting in for 6 damage... Killing both his creatures there is not bad. Sucks to get rid of this, but I haven't played on land yet, so we can get this down, draw a card, two cards next turn. So sorry, bats or bird horrors, but drawing an extra card next turn I think is just better. Right, so Bass Long has pretty nice. Draw two cards, then discard a card. So filters for two turns. And then on your third turn. Shuffle any number of target cards from your graveyard into your library and add two blue, so pretty good card here. Filters and gives you card advantage for two turns. Okay, when this leaves the battlefield, the ring tempts you, so that's not too big of an issue. It's got four cards in hand, but we will get two cards next turn and filter wow okay so those are some good cards you got four mana here guess we just get this down please no counter i don't think there's a lot of counters in the format Um, do we want to trade off for Golem here? Um, how do we want to stack this? Scry 2, then reveal the top card of your library. Wow, that was lucky. <laughs> Two on the bottom, and we hit one of our biggest creatures in our deck, so... I guess that is the biggest creature, because Balrog is also out. Get rid of the land here. Really want this with the bats. So if we're able to get this down next turn, and the bat survive, this is going to be doing a bunch of damage over a few turns. Looks like he's got something for this here. Okay, that's not bad. I'm actually really happy he killed that and not the bats, so...
Okay, so he's got a lot of mana this turn, but uh, like I said, if we get this down with the bats, we can attack in again, only drawing one card. Um, from this, although this is nice if you have instant ways to draw a card, like Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, each opponent mills two cards. When one or more cards are milled this way, exile target. Enchantment, instant, or sorcery card. With equal or less mana value from that opponent's graveyard, copy the card. Oh god. Oh, that's gonna kill us. Yep, that sucks. Those bats were kind of the only thing that was going to keep us alive, more or less. But, that being said, we get three spirit tokens. We just play the land and pass. We could have attacked to trigger this, but very, very risky. And just block off, lose our 2 2. So at least I'd rather trade this for something. We're at 14. I'm gonna leave this food out too for a while. I guess we can use this once we're down to 5 or less life and gain double. So. Uh, well, we don't have a ton more instant and sorceries left, but he's probably just going to mill us out or kill us. Put out a nine here. Ward, discard an enchantment, instant or sorcery card. So we're going to need like two pieces of removal to kill this good thing. Two land sucks, now we don't even... Get another trigger off the vial. So, another close game. I think we're gonna lose here, though. Maybe I should've got... Maybe I should have got uh, this saga down with the bats out a little bit earlier, but... I guess we have to sack this now, otherwise we're dead. That's 8-9 exactly.
All right, so nothing we can do there. Um, just lost to a bomb, and we didn't have removal, so... That happens. All right, we go first here. Not the worst hand, not great, but we'll go ahead and keep it. Alright, getting that down. We just want to kill this now, get in for damage. A little bit weak because we can't play anything else, so it's a little bit of a slow turn, but... So we can sack the food token. This this is artifact or a creature. We can try and kill his creature here. kill that now, we are not going to be able to kill Theoden. Which could be a problem. Otherwise, we're taking 10 next turn. I guess if he equips the token and attacks in, then we can kill it. Okay, that's good. Guess that worked out well. I think everything pretty much be double strike when it is pretty annoying. Whenever two or more 
creatures you control attack a player. Look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal a creature card from among them and put them into your hand. Okay, I'm not sure why I attacked off there, because he probably wants that for this. Creatures or anything. All right. I don't think there's too many board wipes. There is the white one that kills. We've already seen it, I think. Kills everything two or greater, so he must have just been getting flooded there. No creatures, so. All right, we got one win at least. We did not get skunked. Always good. All right, we go first here. This is just a terrible hand. Um, if one of these was a mountain, it'd be. Okay, it'd be a little bit slow, but I think we have to mulligan here, unfortunately. Okay, this is a pretty good hand. We'll go ahead and keep six. I guess we'll pitch a land. We got the vial here. So, way better hand. Glad I'm mulligan there. That's fine, we're not going to kill that. the vial down. Your opponents can't gain life. Sacrifice another creature target. Player loses one. If the sacrifice creature was legendary, a mass works too. So that is pretty annoying. We'll put it on this. Not really sure what the best uh, strategy is for putting the ring on one of your creatures. I guess putting it on a low creature lets it get by bigger creatures. It can't be blocked by creatures with greater power. Um. So yeah, I don't know. Early game, you want to put it on something smaller. And like late game, put it on something bigger. I don't know. He wants to attack in here. I'll happily trade off. Does not. Alright, so that's not bad. We empty our hand out here. And we draw two cards next turn, so pretty sweet. We did lose our ring bearer, but that's fine. Got rid of his 1 1 flyer. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Alright, we'll just four here. I think we've gotten the, the vial here every game, which has been pretty sweet. Oh, 
We'll actually put it on the goblin, so... We can't block off here and we can still attack in. Put it on him, he would have just blocked anyways, so... Okay, that's fine. So like I said, I think putting the ring on a smaller creature at the start of the game... Okay, that's fine. We just take damage. Go ahead and get that down. Attack in. We're going to amass four from the Oryx here. Alright, so that's pretty much game. Pony got land screwed there. Really good mulligan hand we got there, so good thing we mulligan. Even though, you know I hate mulliganing on the play, but that was definitely the, uh, the right choice there, so. And, you know, you got three lands and a vial, and you can empty out your hand and start drawing two cards a turn. Seems pretty sweet. Okay, opponent goes first. Not the best hand, not the worst hand here. We'll go ahead and keep. Definitely gives us some playable stuff to do here. And he mulligans down, so. That's unfortunate. Doesn't look like the Fateful Strike will do much unless they get land screwed or something, but. Strike target artifact or enchantment, so we could kill that. So, we definitely don't want him killing our Vile here, so. Gonna want to block this off. Go ahead and just amass the orcs, get a token here. He might have a removal. Nope, definitely had something at end of turn there though. Paused on his priority. Who is this? When Lord of the another human neutral enters the battlefield or another human is battlefield neutral creatures you control get plus one plus one until end of turn. Okay, that's an easy block for us there. One, two, three for the vial. Then we got three mana. That's a decent play. I don't mind double blocking this as well. What is this? Draw card. Activate only if you attack with two more creatures this turn. So that's pretty good. He needs more creatures here. Alright, we will go for it. Probably has a combat trick here. Probably should have let that through. We'll see what happens here. Only got two cards left, so can't activate this. He needs, a, needs another creature. 
We've got two removal cards in the Balrog, so we are looking good here. We're not getting value off of the card draw here just yet, but... What is that? Put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. They gain vigilance until end of turn. The ring tempts you. Really want to see what's in his hand here. Why is it not letting me play this? I don't want to mana of any color. I don't think we can attack there. Hopefully he attacks in here. So we just need a couple more mana and we'll get the Balrog down. Not sure why he's taking so much time here. Okay, we get in for damage. swing all out here. Nice synergy, we create a token, takes a damage. Got a blocker now here too. It's probably game here. It's got a board wipe. Oh wow. That was close.
Should just be game here unless he's got something to do with the uh, bats there. I could have killed something in response, but didn't really matter. So there we go. Got another win. So off after a 0 and 2 start, we went three wins so far. So happy to get at least three wins on our first draft here. Right next match here, we're playing Bobo the Angsty Zebra. Don't really know what that means, but uh, we got the vial in a turn two here. So I think we'll keep this pretty good hand. We got a flyer here as well. So hopefully we hit hit our third land here. We should be good. Ugh. Got a land. Show me that land, please. Out and off the top. All right, we'll block one of these off. Ah, where's my land? Land, please. All right, taking one. Ah, more creatures. Oh my god, Are you kidding me? There's the land here. Get out of here, Gimli. No one likes you. Can't cast them anyways. Alright, need a mountain off the top. What the heck is this? Enters the battlefield, create a 1 1 token, create X 1 1 white for X the number of humans. Yep, well, that's gonna be game. We have no way of killing all this stuff. Just gonna be getting a crap ton of tokens here. Not sure this is the best play, but at least we'll kill one. He's gonna get three. Ah, uh, there's too many one ones, and we got land screwed here. Yeah, that's enough. So we just lost to this stupid horn. And uh, got land screwed there. Honestly, if we didn't get land screwed, we would have been able to at least hold off some of the attacks for a while. I mean, he still would have just been generating, doubling his tokens every turn, but um, at least we would have had some stuff out. We might have had a chance, but oh well, that's what happens. Sometimes you get land screwed. We were running 16 lands, so sometimes you get a little bit land screwed. We drew the vial pretty much every game, so this card was pretty good. Um, Doors of Durin was not bad. Um, better if you have some bigger creatures. We don't have too many big creatures, but even hitting a 4-drop here gets pretty good value. And uh, Smite the Deathless, pretty good removal. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think these... Amassing Orcs cards are pretty good. I think blue-black might be maybe the next thing I try and play. But I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.